going in. I wish we had a bloody army. From up here, you can almost pretend Isabel's light is the sun. And Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Mole gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack -a day says the stuff I like is junk. I'm gonna make a killing on this. You'll see. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the... F what can I get you? Pleasure doing business with you. Premium trinkets and doodads. Keep a blade close. Don't wander far. We need to talk. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap, only for me to land them in this one. Gone. And more than half the others with him. We were ambushed, out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze. Begged us to surrender. But... They were toying with us, making examples, and we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others... Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Zevlor had hope. It didn't save him. A little sense will serve us better, I think. But... Thanks. It was sweet of you to try. Until then, keep watch. Keep wary. I need your senses sharp. Oh, you're all right, thank goodness. I was worried they'd got you too. Honestly, terribly. I still can't believe it. The cultists. The screams. 
Roland of all people, saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. And I'm damn glad of it. Without him, well, none of us would be here. I don't know. It just happened so quickly. How do you do it? How do you keep going? You make it sound so easy. But I'll try. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there, all right? I can't handle anyone else dying. Want any surprises? Yes, Mom. Last light's best bargains, right here! Please, be welcome. Have a drink. To your very good health. Bottoms up. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true, and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? And you're certain you will continue to resist? Good. I will take your word for it. And hold you to it, too. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. General Cadric Thorm. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Catherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. The same way he dealt with my arrow in his eye, I suspect. Much as I share your desire for a simple life, we must try another way. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, Together, we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Without a cure for your infection, your days are numbered too. 
Yet you selflessly offered to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. I know you're keen, Ellen. Be patient. Your chance will come. Until then, keep watch. Keep wary. Keep your senses sharp. are faded, but the words are not. An ale between friends is worth ten cups of tea. Preparing to march, I wager. Seems that way. Don't mind if I do. You're heading into the towers, are you? Good. I pray it's not too late for Duke Ravengard. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty. Signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first Flaming Fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. We believe the cultists have taken Duke Ravenguard to Moonrise Towers. I don't suppose you've found a way in. 
Isabel cleared this place, and he just appeared. We think he's staying at the inn when the curse fell, which means he's been trapped inside for a century. It beggars belief he's alive at all. Hopefully, he'll come round. Tell us something useful about getting through the shadows. Right now, he seems to have little more to him than a refrain from some song or other. Cleric of Saluna. She's got a room upstairs if you want to meet her. Just don't interrupt her while she's doing whatever it is that keeps this place shadow free. Wouldn't we all? I'm not even sure he's fully conscious, but feel free to say hello. Maybe a new face will inspire him. Unfortunately, I won't be here when he comes around. I'm heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. The Council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. You know the name Gortash, a counselor with considerable influence on Baldurian industry and politics. But he is no lord. Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Ketherick throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. Flame Color. That's your name, isn't it? Art Color? I'm Fistula. Thaniel and me are climb, climbing up a tree. We. We need you, sir. One of our own's been taken, a Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it, or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. If you know how to get through to him, don't hesitate. Vanilla. Vanilla. The patient is physically well, but psychologically detached, dissociated from himself. He's been in the Shadowfell. All memories will have been stripped away. We need to remind him who he is. Some personal effects, maybe? Lost in the shadows all this time. He must have left some part of himself behind. Something we can use.
this was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. Fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin, as if from manual labor or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. If he does, he isn't sane. There seems to be some kind of document. We're discussing fist business, and you're no fist. Nice to see a friendly face come out the shadows for once. There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Cute. Maybe she'll write a ballad about me. She can leave out the part where my brother and sister were dragged away screaming while I was saving the orphans. If you hadn't filled their heads with all that self-righteous, heroic crap at the Grove, none of this would have happened. Sorry we won't bring them back. You go save the world. Or your own ass, Or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. taste.
blood. Last night's best bargain, right here. We, we see what we see. Don't waste a step. Seems simple enough. And yet you harm me by your very presence. This is my territory, and you're in it. Hmm. I'll allow it. You've had enough. Now go. Quickly. Yes. I slinked, of course. Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. Do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I. Disgraceful. Ah! You found your way. Good. I thought I'd scout ahead, check for any nasty surprises, of which I found a great deal. Shades, death, harpers, flaming fist, and this, of course, and the makings of an alchemist's workbench. Ingredients, too. There's a recipe I'm trying to replicate. Something that might help you. That is, if you're still going to help Wolbrin and the others. In that case, you'll be very pleased to learn what I have in store for you. A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the Brilliant Retort. You'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there. You'll need it if you're going to save Wilbrin. They didn't get trapped. They were kidnapped. Taken against their will by those cultists. If I ever get my hands on one of them... Well... With you on the job, perhaps I won't have to find out. I'll do my part according to my talents. And you, I hope, will do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus, I will make it. when I'm finished making it.
Unless you've got access to a 300-year-old Tempusian apothecarial almanac? No. But that's for me to worry about. You... you do whatever it is you do. Some of us are counting on you. Let's have a look. Your move, Maul. You trap me! I didn't even want to take this one! Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your Mistra, or come for my Cyric. Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's Square now, Chief? Say, do you play Lance Ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. Always oh, laid a fine trap for you, Mole. It looks to me like his Cyric could be dethroned. My, the Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. How's that for Callum Sham rolls? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. The Thescan move suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played. To play the game. The vast lance board of souls. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying, she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Now, let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask me. I do. I have a... proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business. Devil. My old... well... A long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. Hmm... Oh, such impatience. It's something very important to your master. But is it a love letter, a warning, or a deed of ownership? I could give you all the gory details. But of course, you'll have to do something for me first. Let me think about it and get back to you. You'll get back to me? This is important, devil! When? Don't worry, I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon.
at the finest stock. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. He's a flaming fist. Or was. He came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. A haunting face swims into your mind's eye, its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. 
the Absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Time to go, Isabel.
time has come. Torment. 